Actually, right now, I don't have a sample of the uh, neonatal size, so we're actually using a, the pediatric size, which goes from 4.0 to 5.5. And, um, and that's actually what's kind of nice to know is that that actually works. The, this uh, disposable air track SP uh, pediatric size will work on this neonatal mannequin head. So, all right, so Lauren, go ahead now and uh, show us how to set this up here. So we are going to click the air track mobile app which you can download from the internet. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we now see that we have the camera screen. You have to place the camera towards the white dot on the air track device. Place the phone in to where the corner is aligned with the phone right here. Okay. What I want you to do is while we're doing this is, is move the white dot. Just let's see what happens when you move that the the there okay all right so mm -hmm. now now that you've messed that up Lauren you're going to have to go ahead and realign things can you okay. do that for I us I can do that okay so, so we're going to click the settings button all right the then click phone alignment aid all right and a white line appears on the screen okay let me get a shot of that okay good good you have to move the white dot oh look at that okay good to align with it. Right. And then lock the dot back into place. Okay, so tighten that knob. Now you've already obviously mm -hmm. aligned this knob to make it easy yes. for us. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, let's go ahead and continue. So you hit the back. Hit back, and right. now you can see that the screen is focused and clear. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a nice sharp, sharp image. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, so let's go ahead and hook up our uh, AirTrack SP, the disposable blade. So we have the pediatric size air track SP. Even though we have a neonatal mannequin, mm -hmm. we're gonna this is what we have right now. And we're gonna place it directly on top and just slide it in. Okay. And now you can focus, zoom in and out as you would like. All right. And it's ready. Okay, now let's see you do an innovation here. Okay. All right. Have so a lubricated endotracheal tube. You're gonna place it through the track just to where the endotracheal tube is at the tip of the air track SP. Very good. So we can see it in the camera screen right here whenever I focus. Okay. I okay. see it. All right. So first I'm going to press this button and turn on the light. It's going to blink for 30 seconds. It's going to prevent fogging on the blade by using a heating element. Okay, and after that 30 seconds, the blinking stops. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, so now let's go ahead with the innovation. So I'm going to watch at the mouth to make sure I'm not injuring the tongue, pushing the airway, or blocking the airway. All right. And I'm now watching at... Oh, can I start, can I start the video while no. you're doing that too? Okay. And now I'm watching the camera screen. And as you can see, there are vocal cords and the tip of the endotracheal tube. I'm going to use my right hand to press it forward into the airway. And now I'm going to peel away the endotracheal tube as I pull back on the air track. All right. You're like a pro. You're like you've done this before. <laughs> Just a few times. <laughs>